What's up everybody, it's Scapegoat here, and in this tutorial we are going to be going over the FX section. We are going to be continuing our Odin 2 series, so without further ado, let's get started. So, it might not be obvious when you're looking at the effects section, but you can actually sort of reroute and reposition these effects by just clicking and dragging. So any of these effects can be sort of dragged around and you can adjust them accordingly. If you want to turn an effect on, you can click this button right here and that will toggle the effect on. So one of the first effects is the delay effect and so starting with that we have a time and the, the time is measured in Hertz but you can also sync it to your uh, host uh, DAW's BPM by clicking the sync right here and you have some various different options like eighth notes and sixteenth notes. Then you have a feedback section so the feedback determines how many cycles essentially so if you had it like all the way at one right here it would keep going on and keep echoing and then if you had it at zero it would most likely just echo like one time. Then you have a ping pong button right here which when toggled on it will give you that stereo ping pong delay effect. You also have a high pass knob here which will allow you to control some of the frequencies if needed. You also have a ducking knob over here which if you feel that the delay is sort of getting in the way of certain aspects of the sound or the mix you can adjust this ducking knob. And then you have a dry wet knob which the dry knob is going to control the signal of the unprocessed sound and then the wet will control the amount of processed sound. So next you have your chorus, and it's very similar to the delay. It has a chorus rate, which can be synced. You also have the modulation, which is going to control how much the internal LFO modulates the two delay times. Then you have your feedback, which is going to control how much of the delay line is fed back. And you have a reset button as well. Lastly, for this effect, you have a dry wet, which can control the balance of processed and unprocessed signal. Next you have the phaser, which is also very similar. You have your rate, which can be synced. You have your feedback, which acts as an extra feedback stage in this case. You also have the modulation knob, which is going to control that internal LFO. You also have a frequency, which you can use the phaser frequency knob to shift the bass frequency of the internal all pass filters. This can allow you to alter the characteristic of the effect. Then you have your reset knob, as you have a reset button as well. And then you also have your dry wet knob to control your processed and unprocessed signals. Next you have your flanger which is again very similar. By now you can start to get an idea for the pattern and how these effects are laid out so it's very easy once you kind of understand one you understand them all. You have your rate which is syncable, the modulation which controls the internal LFO, you have your feedback, you also have your reset button, and then your dry wet as well. Lastly here we have the reverb and the reverb is essentially going to provide you that room sound effect which you have a pre-delay knob which is going to control how much the signal is delayed before being fed into the reverberation. You have a decay knob which is going to control the length, the tail of the reverb. You have a high frequency damp knob which is going to allow you to control how much of those high frequencies are attenuated. You also have an EQ gain which you're essentially given an EQ to help shape the sound of the reverb a little more and this gain will allow you to boost the peak that you dial in with this EQ frequency knob here. And boosting is only just one case scenario for this EQ knob. You can also take some of the frequencies away by lowering the volume in decibels. And like I was saying before, if you wanted to add frequencies, you could turn up the volume and you choose that frequency based in Hertz right here, you could dial it in. Then you have your dry wet knob, just like all the other effects, which is gonna control that balanced of processed and unprocessed signal. Thank you. 
basically covers the effects section. I hope you found this one helpful. In the next one, we are going to be going over the modulators and maybe a little bit of something else there. So stay posted for that. I hope you found this one helpful. Until next time.